Well, Happy New Year and, and all that jazz. But of course, the New Year means that it's about that time when one has to start taking down Christmas tree ornaments. So, this year, I was planning on starting with the ornaments hanging in the trees outside uh, when I made two important realizations. One, I'm short. And two, ladders are terrifying. The next course of action was self-evident. Make a robotic Christmas tree ornament claw grabbing thingy. And, and after a quick brainstorm and crude sketch, I was ready to start sourcing parts. The backbone for the project would be pieces from a modular PVC boom that I had developed previously for another project. Each section of this boom is about a meter long, and they can be joined together quickly with threaded couplers. Also borrowed from the previous project was this nifty counterweight, which is just a PVC tube filled with concrete. But the added weight helped to lower the center of gravity for the final mast build. To create a new end effector for this mast, I borrowed a simple mechanical claw from another robot I was working on and mounted it to a threaded plug that would attach easily to a T at the end of the mast. At the same time, I also wanted to be able to see what the claw was grasping, and since some of my target Christmas tree balls were very high up in the trees, a camera near the claw made sense. Borrowing a first-person view, or FPV, camera and video transmitter from another robot gave me a quick way to add the camera to the end of the mast, and since the cable from the camera to the transmitter was rather short, I simply mounted the transmitter near the end of the PVC mast. With a few wires running the length of the mast, I could power the video transmitter and connect the motor for the claw to a basic controller. Time to test! Once the user, that, that's me, was in position below the tree and had activated their wireless FPV headset, I envisioned this device working in one of two ways. The, the first operational mode would leverage all four fingers of the claw to grab the actual ball of the Christmas tree ornament. I imagined that being a larger target would make it a generally easier task for the user on the ground, even if some additional maneuvering would be necessary to disconnect the wire hanging hook from the branch. Alternatively, two of the claws could be removed to optimize it for grabbing the wire uh, hanging of the hanging hook. And I foresaw this as a much more difficult target for taking the balls down, but potentially a better configuration for hanging the balls on the front end. Um, but in actuality, uh, there was a pretty steep learning curve for figuring out how to find the Christmas tree ball using the FPV camera view. I also forgot that I had wound the wires the, the wire hangers fairly tight around many of the branches when I first hung up the ornaments, which made getting them loose more challenging than I had anticipated. However, in time, I started to figure out how to make the thing work, and I was pleased to find that eventually I could dispatch the ornaments fairly rapidly, uh, without actually getting on top of a ladder. And part of the trick, I think, was figuring out how to switch between the FPV headset and the view from the ground, and I also believe that there is a certain height threshold at which the FPV view of the claw becomes very necessary to be able to see the ornament, but at the same time, below this threshold, it may be easier to simply eyeball the alignment from the ground. Obviously, some more refinement in the future could improve the build, um, but for an afternoon project, it, it worked all right. And I was also pleased to discover that the robotic claw also had a really handy bonus feature. Even after the batteries died, you could still use the claw like a regular old hook. Thanks for watching, and Happy New Year.